In the enchanting tapestry of the cosmos, where stardust and celestial bodies dance in an eternal waltz, the James Webb Space Telescope has been the uninvited yet warmly welcomed guest, illuminating the hidden corners of the universe and challenging the very foundations of our understanding. As we gaze deep into the night sky, gazing billions of light years away, we are confronted with a breathtaking spectacle a universe that appears to be shrouded in secrets so profound, so mind-shattering, that even our most trusted laws of physics begin to falter. The James Webb Space Telescope, since its launch, has not only offered us breathtaking images, but has also exposed cracks in our very understanding of space and time. In today's video we embark on an exhilarating journey into the newest revelations from JWST, discoveries that aren't just confusing astronomers, they're rewriting the history of the cosmos. But fair warning, once you hear what it's found, you may never look at the universe the same way again. Our story begins with three galaxies' faint glimmers in the void captured by Webb's infrared eye. But these weren't ordinary galaxies, they were dense, massive, and too well formed for their age, suggesting that something entirely new may be powering them. This led to the theory of dark stars, not burning with nuclear fusion, but instead fueled by dark matter annihilation. This isn't science fiction. First proposed in 2007, dark stars were thought to be theoretical ghosts of the early universe. Yet now, thanks to Webb, we may have found their fingerprints. These galaxies don't match any known formation models, and if dark stars truly exist, it means that the earliest structures in the universe weren't born from light, but from something we can't even see. Dark matter, which accounts for 85% of the universe's mass, may not just shape galaxies, it may ignite them. This alone would force us to rethink stellar evolution, galactic birth, and even the origin of black holes. While Webb was peering at ancient galaxies, it also turned its gaze on something much closer, a super-Earth named gj 121 b orbiting a red dwarf just 40 light-years away. Once considered too hot for life, recent temperature mappings told a new story. Some regions are actually temperate. But then came the real shock. Webb detected water vapour and methane and a heavy atmosphere unlike anything expected. Scientists now believe this planet could be entirely covered in a vast ocean, a true water world. But there's more. Methane and water together often point to life. Not proof, but strong indicators. And if that weren't enough, Webb also observed signs of D-methyl sulfide, a compound on Earth only produced by living organisms like phytoplankton. The implications are enormous. We may be looking at the first real evidence of alien biochemistry. On a world that just last year we considered dead, what if I told you that the smoke from a matchstick, or even from a burning forest, shares something in common with galaxies 12 billion light-years away? Webb recently detected polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, compounds typically associated with smoke, near the very edge of the observable universe. Found in tobacco smoke, car exhaust and burned organic matter on Earth, their presence so far from us suggests that the building blocks of life were already drifting through the cosmos just 750 million years after the Big Bang. These molecules are considered prebiotic. They're crucial to forming DNA, proteins and cells. So the question arises, if these life-seating ingredients were already present so early, what was stopping life from forming out there long before it emerged here? Webb's deep field images are revealing something even more unsettling. Galaxies with supermassive black holes, some 1,000 times larger than the one in the centre of our Milky Way, have been found forming less than 100 million years after the Big Bang. This shouldn't be possible. 
according to our current physics, it takes billions of years for such black holes to grow. Yet there they are, fully formed, compact galaxies, each one like a miniature version of the Milky Way, but denser, brighter, and more evolved than they have any right to be. Some scientists have even called this a cosmic crisis. As one astrophysicist put it, you could force the data to fit the model, but only if you imagine something wildly exotic and fast happening in the early universe. If these galaxies really are what they seem, then our theories of cosmology may be fundamentally broken. Among the most disturbing possibilities emerging from Webb's data is the idea that our universe may not have had a single beginning. Buried deep in the gravitational lensing around ancient clusters, scientists have started noticing anomalies, echoes of expansion that don't line up with our singular Big Bang model. One theory gaining momentum is that of a cyclical universe where the cosmos is born, dies, and is born again like a cosmic phoenix. And if Webb's readings are accurate, the rate of expansion in certain regions doesn't match the Hubble constant. We may be witnessing remnants of a previous cycle. This doesn't just challenge cosmology, it crushes the linear arrow of time, raising chilling questions. Are we living in just one version of many? Are there traces of a forgotten universe lingering beneath our own? And if so, what did it leave behind? Then came the image that made astrophysicists sit in stunned silence, a perfect ring of galaxies, not a cluster, not a lensing illusion, but an actual circular chain of galaxies spanning over 1.3 billion light years. This ring defies everything we know about gravity, structure formation, and entropy. Some theorists are now exploring if this could be evidence of topological defects in space-time. Cosmic bruises left behind when the universe cooled too quickly after the Big Bang. These structures have only ever existed in simulations and string theory papers, until now. The ring could be a scar, a reminder that space-time isn't smooth but flawed, a wound in the fabric of reality. And if that's true, then what else is hiding in the folds of the cosmos? Buried in the noise of deep space radio data, an unexpected pattern has surfaced. The JWST wasn't designed to listen, but even its instruments have picked up strange modulations in the electromagnetic background. Pulses that repeat with eerie precision. Initially thought to be glitches, cross-checking with older Voyager and Chandra data revealed the same frequencies coming from the same region. Some believe it's a signal, a mathematical rhythm too structured to be random. It's not a message we can decode yet, but it's consistent, persistent, and aimed precisely in our direction. Whether it's a natural phenomenon or an engineered one, we simply don't know. But what's certain is this. Something is out there, and it might already be watching us. Here's the paradox. The James Webb Telescope was created to peer into the past. But the more we look backward, the more we seem to collapse the future. Every image, every anomaly is pulling apart the scaffolding of modern physics. The standard model, shaking the age of the universe, questioned. The rate of expansion conflicted, even time itself appears unstable under Webb's scrutiny. What was once a smooth timeline is now riddled with ruptures, sudden leaps and zones of silence. Voids where light simply doesn't behave. We didn't just build a telescope, we opened a door, and the thing about doors is you never know what's going to walk through. Webb wasn't just engineered to observe light. It was engineered to pierce the invisible. And now, for the first time, it's detecting structures that don't even emit light at all. Gravitational anomalies hidden within what should be empty voids. Imagine a region of space with no stars, no galaxies, no detectable matter yet something there is bending the light around it. 
these invisible mass islands aren't accounted for by dark matter simulations. Some physicists are starting to suspect the existence of entire regions of alternate physics, zones where the laws that govern our universe simply don't apply. If that's true, we're not just seeing through space, we're peering into other versions of reality embedded inside our own, like pockets of a cosmic multiverse tangled in gravitational knots. And this leads to the terrifying question, what else could exist in those places where our rules no longer hold? As the Webb telescope continues to peer further and further into the cosmos, an uncomfortable realisation is taking root among scientists and philosophers alike. With every photon it captures, every layer it reveals, it's not just observing the universe, it may be changing it. Known as the cosmic observer effect, this theory suggests that our very active observation on such a massive scale might influence the quantum states of distant particles, causing effects we don't yet understand. Some are calling this the quantum entanglement of perception, where our gaze isn't passive, it's active, intrusive. Webb may not just be exposing the secrets of the cosmos, it might be reshaping them as we speak. And if reality is this sensitive to being watched, then we must ask, what happens when we stare too long into the void? And it begins to stare back. What the James Webb Telescope has revealed isn't just data. It's a fracture in the illusion that we understood the universe. With each infrared whisper from the ancient past, with every dark void it unveils, Webb is not merely showing us what's out there. It's challenging why we thought we ever had it figured out. The more we uncover, the clearer it becomes. We are not the centre, not even close. The universe is not tidy, not obedient, not made for us to decipher. It's wild, it's inconsistent, it's full of contradictions that don't just break our theories, they break the foundation of science itself. For century, as we built our understanding on constants, on numbers and principles we believed were universal. But Webb is telling us a different story, that the rules we cling to may only be regional, that light itself may lie, that time may fold in fracture in ways we never imagined. That reality is far stranger than fiction has ever dared to be. So now we're left with a haunting possibility. What if science wasn't broken by Webb? What if it was never whole to begin with? What if this telescope didn't destroy our understanding, but finally revealed that we had none? And if that's true, then one question remains. What else is hiding, just beyond the edge of what we can see?